Coming up today, the historic Artemis 1 mission, which sent an uncrewed spacecraft Orion. On an unprecedented trip around the moon is now back at home. Underwater tunnels are becoming common around the world. But a floating tunnel, you may soon see that in Norway. And the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has turned its infrared cameras on Saturn's moon, Titan, giving astronomers another eye on the largest and one of the most unusual moons in the solar system. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. You're watching on the Newscast. My name is Michael, and I am your host today. These are the details for the day's stories. First story, Artemis 1 is back on Earth after historic moon mission. Artemis 1 uncrewed Orion capsule completed its nearly 26-day deep space trek past the moon with a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Baja, California this past Sunday. Mission controllers have encountered minor glitches during the whole flight, including a problem with power flow between two parts of the spacecraft and an unexpected communications blackout that lasted nearly an hour. But most of the journey has gone remarkably well and successful. The exciting finale of the Artemis 1 mission involved a re-entry technique never attempted for a passenger spacecraft, the technique known as a skip re-entry which according to NASA, it's a little like skipping a rock across the water in a river or lake. During the skip re-entry, controllers roll the capsule to create lift, raising the capsule back into space, and roll again the vehicle such that it resumed its descent. In this way, they lessen the burden placed on the heat shield and internal g-forces. Now, scientists will work on the data gathered by this test flight and start planning the next mission, Artemis 2. Mission completed, way to go! Next, Norway's East Saturnine Superhighway will connect its coast and break a few records. Norway is currently undertaking its biggest infrastructure roadway project in its history. Not only is this $47 billion revamped road system set to change travel within the country, with a series of bridges and tunnels across the fjords, but also includes what is called the world's first ever floating highway. This high-tech approach to long-standing transport issues will make Norway one of the global leaders in international travel. Just like a couple of gigantic drinking straws submerged about 98 feet below the water surface and anchored in the bedrocks of the fjords, these structures will be low enough for the biggest ships to pass safely over and with plenty of space underneath for marine species to come and go. Coastal Highway Road E39 is projected to cut the current 21-hour travel time between Norwegian cities by at least half through the elimination of seven different ferry crossings. The whole project is expected to be completed by 2050. Terrific project! Last story, another from the space. Webb Telescope focuses its lenses on Saturn's mysterious moon Titan. Saturn's moon Titan is the only moon in the solar system with a substantial atmosphere dominated by nitrogen, and the only place besides Earth known to have rivers, lakes, and seas. It is about 50% wider than Earth's moon. While many of these liquid bodies are hydrocarbons, imagine entire methane and ethane oceans. Scientists believe that water oceans may sit beneath the moon's icy surface. That makes Titan an alien environment with promise for the search for life beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its near come, snapped images of Titan last month, which are now released for our viewing pleasure. The images offer a newly detailed view of Titan's atmospheric makeup and even elements of its strange surface. The latest images show the bright spots on Titan believed to be large clouds. Atmospheric modeling experts say these clouds are confirmation of seasonal weather patterns in the satellite. More observations of Titan are planned in the first half of next year. NASA intends to send a small helicopter called Dragonfly back to the surface of Titan in the 2030s. Our universe is exciting and so enigmatic at the same time. And this coming Sunday is the final of the 2022 FIFA World Cup, 
Which squad do you think will lift the cup? That makes the end of this edition. Thanks for watching and until discussed. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, where you'll find interesting stories happening around the world and the universe. Once again, my name is Michael. Have a great day.